Leo. So, um, yeah, these are some heifers that are going on Auctions Plus. So we just got to make sure that we preg test them, what, three, four months ago, brother? So yeah, just making sure everything's hunky-dory. Now this particular gal, if you look on the on the easy scan there, thank you, Chris Graham from BCF, we can feel her uterus is really thickened. And if you look on here, she was prego before, and you can see the those those kind of the spots there are the, it's just schmoo inside of her uterus. So she had a baby, she decided she didn't want to have no baby no more, and now there's schmoo in there. So, so she can't be sold as preg in calf. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna swab her for Vibrio, Campylobacter foetus, and we're gonna pull some blood to check for exposure to BVD, lepto, neospore, canine, IBR, all sorts of stuff that makes babies not want to hang around. So I've got a swab here, so same technique as when I uh, when I was AI. I've got a uh, bottom commissure, the vulva jam that open, so I've got a nice clean entry because I don't want to get any stuff on that wand. And then just like an AI, I'm just gonna kind of grab the cervix and kind of drag it back towards towards the vulva so I can get a nice deep um, rub of stuff inside the vagina. So we're just looking for stuff to remain. And then we've got some special media that we'll send off to the egg department. So ready to go. Just got one of those balls. Thanks, Sam and Meals. So we're just gonna hold on that really tight and I'm gonna take a bend this so it breaks. Turn the twist and hopefully that's short enough that you can screw that lid down on it. Cool beans. That's one. And then can I get another one? Because we got another, we got a couple different medias there that we can put it in. So I need another, we got the other stick, please. Stick. Think about sticking to the bean pole ads in the magazine, standing at this thing. Again, gonna, whoa, check this out. Look at this smooth coming out of her vulva. Look at that. Let's get some of that action. Oh, yeah. So that's a, that's a, a boarding schmoo. So if whatever caused her to abort should be in that schmoo. Can I get another one? Because I'll stick some of this schmoo up in that other one. Uh, She's schmoo loaded. Here, let me grab the, the lid off the other one. Yeah. And then open that other one. I'm going to put another swab in it because I'll grab some of the schmoo. We probably got schmooed up before. We'll just make damn sure we got some schmoo up, all up in that rig. But the flies are getting a bit of schmoo. So one thing about Australia, a lot of beautiful beaches, lots of stuff to see, lots of freaking flies. Get out of the fly. key to this job is to keep enough shit all over yourself that the flies land on it instead of you. Um, all right, so that's that done. Now we're just going to collect some blood. I'll take that. Then I got red tube. The red tube that we got? Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry. Cool so this is for YouTube, not red tube. <laughs> Little vein right there in the center of the tail. Boom. Very handy of God to put it there. I think God had a lot of, uh, very kind of veterinarian. These cow vets, at least. Fill that up with blood. We'll send this off to our local DPI, Department of Primary Industries Agricultural Department, and they will hopefully tell us why she's decided to get rid of her little bub. And that's a, a infertility investigation. Yeah, yeah. We get an answer for her, we can help the rest. Hey, we might eat this instead. Cheers, team. That's good.